Samantala, alam niyo ba mga homepage, nakakwentuhan ni Yunis ang Manila's Best Kept Restaurant Secret Winner of Best Chef and Best Continental Restaurant at nagbigay ito ng ilang tips para sa mga passion din ang um, pagninegosyo ng isang restaurant. Narito, kilalani natin siya. And we're back here at homepage with me mga ka-homepage is FDKRS Best Chef and recipient of his restaurant, Best Continental Restaurant, Mr. Antonio Escalante. Hi, good morning. Welcome Hi, to Eunice. homepage. Good morning. Good morning to everybody. It's so nice to have you here. And what we want to really find out is how did your restaurant, Antonio, start? How did it come to be? When did you decide that you want to be a chef? Um, after I quit dentistry. Oh, you were a dentist? Yes, I was a dentist. And then uh, I joined PAL. Mm. I was with PAL for about nine years. And then I knew I wasn't going to stay long being a flight steward. So I went to Australia and studied culinary. You've always liked cooking. I, I always loved cooking. And so you're the type who cooks for your friends yeah, during that's parties, how it, house parties? That's really how it started. Mm. When I won't. I would always give parties in the house, and I told my wife one day, I'm gonna make this into a business. Then I decided, I quit PAL after nine years, and I decided to study in Australia, a two-year course, and then when I came back, before I studied the business, I, I bought my property in Tagaytay. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is where mind, Antonio's is Yes, having right in now. mind that I'll be having a restaurant there. That's why I traveled before all the nice restaurants were outside the city. Correct. So that was the concept I really wanted from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. But the kind of cuisine that you offer in Antonio's, how did you think of that? I mean, you always like continental food? Yeah, what? I guess I always like continental food because my inspiration for my dishes are more of my travels, mm -hmm. my experience eating out. And... Uh, that's how I put up my my theme for my restaurant. And speaking of theme, um, I've been there, I think, once or twice already. And it's very cozy. It's like you're so close to nature. Did you really want that kind of design or look for your restaurant? Yes, because when I started I, uh, uh, in Tagaytay, I, I just told my, my architect, make it look like a house. Mm -hmm. And if it doesn't work, it's going to be my vacation. It's gonna be my home. Rest house. Yeah, it's gonna be my home. And uh, the concept that I did was, uh, it's more of my home that I wanna to share to the public. So I created uh, something uh, more of a homey. 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 Uh, inspired, inspired restaurant. Inspired restaurant. Yeah. Uh, that's it. Well, are you still very hands on the business? Have oh. you trained? probably siblings if you have any or relatives to help you out at least in the kitchen or you're still very hands-on i'm still very hands-on but um, the birth pains are over antonio's is going to be on its ninth year and uh, birth pains are, is over like four years that i couldn't get out of the kitchen my staff now are really really good but i live in the i live in my oh, restaurant i live inside the compound so if I'm there, I'm there in the kitchen, mm -hmm. and I'm still very hands-on. Can you recall the days when you were still starting? What were the challenges that you had to go through putting up a business like that? Oh, my challenges before was being in the Gaitai, getting the supplies, getting my uh, ingredients that I wanted. Manila. Yeah, and that I have to get... Come back and forth. Yes, oh. yes. But after a while, uh, uh, my... Uh, with suppliers, they delivered to me three times a week, mm -hmm. and uh, those obstacles are, are no, not an obstacle for me. Yes, you just had to go through it, and I'm yes. sure you're reaping the benefits of, or the fruits of your labor, as they say. Oh, yeah. So, um, I'm sure those people who would like to be a chef like you someday are probably studying culinary arts right now, and those who want to put up a business like yours, what advice? or suggestions could you give them? Oh, uh, Coming I, from an expert like you, somebody who has been very successful uh, I, in the business already. I, I really believe that you really have to have the passion and uh, you really have to like it because it entails a lot of work, uh, time, and uh, dedication. Dedication. Yeah. Um, your family are also involved, your family members? None. none. It's just you. Yes, it's just and this me. is your passion. Yes. Can you say that this is something 
that defines you already. Food, cooking, being a chef, this is just part of your system already. Can you say that? Yeah, cooking is really my passion and I really love to travel. And you get I, ideas from traveling. Yes, a, a, it helps a lot. a lot. Yes, a lot. And when I travel, food is my priority. Mm -hmm. And then when I come back, uh, I get all these ideas and then I get the produce that I can get my hands on and then I create my own my own technique. I just wonder how it would be like to have you to, to be staying with you in a house. You know, I'm sure your your children or, your, or all the family members are just having parties every single night because of the kind of cooking that you have. No, not at all. I have a good cook in the house, no, which cook, you don't cook, cook for food. them anymore. I, yeah, I cook once in a while, mm -hmm. like especially on Mondays when I'm close. Mm -hmm. That's the time I cook for my family, for especially for my kids. Mm -hmm. And um, since I opened the restaurant, I've been cooking less for my family. Really? <laughs> but at least you're feeding more and more people. All right, so I think this is the time where you can invite your audience to go and try out Antonio's if they haven't. If Example, they're in Tagaytay, they want to try something really good, because I could attest to that. Food is very good in Antonio's. Okay, if, if you're planning to go to Tagaytay, please drop, please come to my restaurant. If you want to relax and uh, uh, relax and have good food, yeah, Chef's stop. recommendation, what uh, particular dish? Oh, my, 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 my uh, I guess most of my, uh, uh, chef's recommendation. Um, if you're into steak, go for my steak. And my salad, of course. And your salad, yeah, which, of course. Yeah, we, which we grow ourselves. All right, thank you, sir, for being with us here today. We're going to visit you thank soon you in Tagaytay, yeah. Antonio's restaurant uh, in please, Tagaytay. Please come. Serve us your best steak and your the salads that are all homegrown, right? Yes. The vegetables in there. Yes. All right, thank you so much, sir. Mga ka homepage, I'm sure marami kayong natutunan mula sa ating expert na chef na guest ngayong araw na ito. Kaya naman, subukan nyo na po ang kanilang restaurant. Diyan lamang yan sa Tagaytay pagka nagawi kayo ng medyo southern part ng Pilipinas. Mga ka-homepage, magbabalik pa po kami. This portion is brought to you by Curves, Fitness Center for Women, Bonifacio Global City.